the front stretch. How about standing up and letting him hear it? He is unbuckling, climbing out of the car now. The winner is out of the car. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome Alan Crimes. Been a long time coming. Sure has. Uh, to tell you the truth, I know if I was ever going to win here. Uh, you know, we've been pretty good at other tracks, but just struggled here and bad luck. And I feel like I should have won here four or five times. It's not like this place owes me anything. Or, but uh, I guess if you're going to pick one to win, this would be the one. I should say, I said. Probably the best crowd of the year in Pennsylvania, no question. And I think the best race, uh, you couldn't see it. you got to get a, a video of this because what was happening behind you was unbelievable. Crimes made several comebacks. Hodnet was there. Monteith was there at the end. And this belongs to you. I've been waiting a long time to get one of these checker flags. It means an awful lot. Uh, you know, just the names that have stood here where I'm standing right now, it's kind of unbelievable. Uh, yeah, I don't know how close those guys were behind me. Uh, once I got the lead there, I actually didn't think I was all that great. And uh, we had that red, and he, they said Danny was on me pretty good. And uh, we changed a couple things under there. And it, I felt a little better, but not a whole lot. But uh, they said I pulled away a little bit there at the end. And then uh, we were coming up on this lap traffic, and I was getting worried. I knew it had to be two or three to go, and I was kind of trying to stay behind them so I didn't run up on them. And uh, it just worked out. After the red, you were very fast. You pulled away from everybody for the first few laps. Can you give us an idea what you did during the red? Uh, well, actually, it was stuff we should have done before the race. But we had a brake problem in the heat there. We were thrashing around and just forgot to t change the stuff that we should have. We just uh, we opened the front shocks and uh, uh, moved the wing a whole higher. I already had it all the way back there under that red. We moved it up a little higher, and then I, I rolled it back front a little bit. And uh, I was a little better after the red there for two or three laps, and then I kind of felt like I was getting back to where I was before the red. But I knew I still had some wings, so I started moving that back, and uh, I guess that was enough. We held on. What were you thinking when you saw the white flag? Don't screw up. <laughs> and you didn't. Looks like Allen's Army is her track site. Who are all these people? I don't know. <laughs> mostly, mostly family. Uh, Got to thank everybody that works in my car. It's a family-run team. Uh, my dad, my uncle. Uh, my uncle runs motors. My dad ma maintains the car. And uh, everybody that works on the car is part of the family. So uh, it's pretty cool to have everybody standing here in Victory Lane to Grove. There's no professional mechanics on this team. It's been a long week already, and so much work for you guys doing it, I'm sure, on a voluntary basis for most of them. Yeah, it's tough. You know, I've never ran um, most of Speed Week until last year. We figured we'd give it a try, and we ended up leading the points going into the second to last race. So, uh, uh, you know, this time of year is usually when I start getting going and the tracks get slick, and, uh, you know, these races pay so, so much good a purse. You know, they pay 1000 bucks for tenth. So, it's almost, you know, you almost have to race them because uh, they pay so good. And... Uh, uh, we started out the week not that great. I, I ran over Lance at uh, Lincoln, and I think we had a shot at winning that one too. But uh, we seem to be getting faster and faster as the week goes on, and uh, it looked like we peaked at the right time. Well, you said all the races pay well, but none of them pay better than this one. $10,000 in your bank account. Have a good year tire as well. And let's get the Smith family over here. This, of course, is... This, of course, is the Mitch Smith Memorial. I want you to meet Mitch's wife and his daughter Kelly. And what do we have here? This is um, Mitch's granddaughter Emily. <laughs> and Kelly, you've always been the family spokesman, so how about a few words? How about the performance by Alan Crimes tonight? We were very impressed and we're happy to know was this your first win here at the Grove and how appropriate it be for the Mitch Smith Memorial. Congratulations to you. We're always very thankful for the track to have us back every year. We look forward 
to this night. I know Emily said a month ago, I can't wait to go see the cars go around really fast. So thank you. We're glad to have you guys back once again. And uh, just what a show all night long. Alan, congratulations. Ladies and gentlemen, Alan Crimes. Everyone.